The main thing that I would say drew me to Hofstra is the scope of the training for sure. Um, not only are we trained to become school psychologists, but we also have the community aspect. Um, so we're able to work in clinical settings as well as the school. At Hofstra, the training also includes institutes and clinics, which you're welcome to work in as early as your first year in the program, as well as school placements. So you definitely get the hands-on experience right away. So right now I'm a fourth level student in the program and starting in my third year, I became the clinical services coordinator for the Diagnostic and Research Institute for Autism Spectrum Disorders under the direction of Dr. Kim Gilbert. And in that clinic, we provide a variety of services for children and adults with autism spectrum disorder. And so when I graduate, I hope to continue working with children and adults on the autism spectrum and kind of take all of the training that I've, that I've gotten in um, diagnostic instruments and specialized um, psychotherapy and techniques for this population and continue with that. The faculty is very invested in the students and very invested in their training. Um, they're very dedicated to your training and the refinement of your skills. So whatever support you need, they're always there to lend it to you, especially in the clinics when you're working one-to-one -one for the first time with a family or with a child. Dr. Gilbert has been instrumental in my development in the clinic and as a professor and someone who I really look up to in the field. I would tell someone applying to this program to just avail yourself of all of the options that you have. As soon as you walk in the door, there's gonna be many things offered to you, many experiences you could get involved in, and to just take advantage of everything because so much learning does go on in the classroom, but the nature of a PsyD is to have that practical, hands-on clinical experience and to practice that when you're in school so that when you do become a clinician in the field, you have all of that knowledge and all of that experience behind you. In the clinic, one of the services we provide are di diagnostic evaluations for autism spectrum disorder. So this is to see if a child or adult might fit the criteria for an autism spectrum disorder and most importantly, what does this mean and how can we help them moving forward? What I've noticed over the past four years is that Hofstra is very well connected in terms of our alumni. Many of my supervisors have been graduates of the program, which is something very special to see. So you see someone who went through the same program as yourself and now is in the field working and they could also relate to your experiences and they really value and know how thorough the training is so they feel comfortable having interns from Hofstra. The PsyD program is certainly unique in that the training is very varied and broad. So you'll be certified as a school psychologist but you'll also be eligible for a license as a psychologist in a variety of settings. Not all doctoral programs necessarily afford this option to you, so to be able to work in the school as well as private settings, as well as hospitals or clinics, is really something that the PsyD provides for you, and it allows for a broad range of individuals that you could work with. Right now, I'm completing my doctoral dissertation under the sponsorship of Dr. Gilbert, and its focus is the effects of a pre-linguistic intervention for preschoolers with autism spectrum disorder. And the way that I thought of this was that it's an intervention that we do a lot in the clinic, and it's never been done in the school before. So Dr. Gilbert was beyond excited to kind of bring this into the school and has been extremely supportive in getting this off the ground, and I look forward to seeing the results. The purpose of the study is to help children on the autism spectrum who are still young and developing language to learn the purpose of language and how to communicate while developing their play skills. So how to play with a toy, how to ask for a toy, and how to use their eye contact and their words meaningfully to get what they want. Mm -hmm.